We've reached the final day in our 11 teams and 11 day series as we now take a look at league preseason favorite Villanova. And Tim, my oh my, how things have changed for the Wildcats in just a year's time. It was only two seasons ago that this team found itself at the bottom of the standings after winning a single conference game in 2011. Then seemingly out of nowhere, Nova shocked both the league and the nation last season. A turnaround that was sparked in part by the emergence of sophomore quarterback and reigning Jerry Rice award winner, John Robertson. Yeah, it's funny. I was at the first game of the 2012 season. It's Villanova at Temple, and uh, Villanova lost that game, and this kid comes in, uh, John Robertson, and he, he fared well, as, as well as you can play in a loss. And all of a sudden, Nova starts getting a couple games. They start winning a couple games, and, and they're forced to reckon with. Uh, Kevin Menunga, he's a 1,000-yard rusher. Uh, Villanova averaged over, well over 200 yards per game on the ground last year. I think they surprised a lot of people. You can't doubt Coach Talley, uh, what he's done. Um, obviously, Robertson, he comes back. He's a kid who rushed for over 1,000 yards as a quarterback. Like you said, he's the FCS top freshman of the year. Uh, I really think there's big expectations. The biggest question is, Robertson was a great runner, and teams are going to key on that, obviously. The biggest deal now is, how has he progressed as a passer? Uh, can he be more of a dual threat? Ken Manungai and the rest of that offense, they have a lot of guys returning. So I'm, yeah. it's no surprise that this team's picked first in the preseason. Whether, whether they, they can c capitalize on that accomplishment, we'll see. And in the passing game, you've got to think that a couple of the weapons, such as a, uh, Storm and Norman, Norman White, White, Storm, Norman White is gone, and Dorian Wells, the two starting receivers now gone. So Maybe have some guys step up out there, too. Indeed. Head coach Andy Talley sat down with us at Media Day and talked about how John Robertson may be poised for even a bigger year in 2013. Well, it's hard for him to duplicate the season that he had. It was 2,000 yards throwing, 1,000 yards rushing, uh, and a real leader. Uh, now he's got to be able to manage the game uh, in all facets, be a great leader, uh, and be able to take us from behind. Because as you know, to win in our league, you've got to do two things. You've got to be able to win on the road, number one, and number two, you've got to win the close games. So I'm hoping that you know, he rises to the challenge and that this team will rise to those challenges. The Wildcats look to be strong on defense once again with the return of many of their starters, including two preseason All-CAA members on the defensive line in Raheem Cox and Antoine Lewis. Yeah, Lewis is a kid who jumps out to you right away. You look on tape and he, he, that's just a bad man. <laughs> I don't want to be out there trying to run against him. And this, this defense, I think you, you mentioned, they took a lot of lumps two years ago and Villanova, everyone kind of, they were beating up on Nova. They were running all over him. And kids had to play young, and these players now who played young, you look at the Dylan Lucas, if he's healthy, um, these, if, if they can be healthy and it, those guys who've played young and have experience, it, it's, it's another scary thought because last year the season ended poorly, but uh, defensively they were, they were solid throughout, so I think that's another strong point for this team moving forward. Absolutely, and to make sure to ta watch out for Antoine Lewis this year, Buck Buchanan Award watch list member coming into 2013. Let's hear from Coach Talley about his two leaders on the defensive line. Well, defensively, those two guys are the anchors. Antoine Lewis uh, is a four-year starter and uh, an all-league player two years in a row, as is Rakim Cox. Rakim is a pro prospect and a guy that everybody uh, looks to as a pass rush guy, uh, maybe at the next level. So uh, those are the anchors for our defense. Joe Sarnis is an outstanding safety that makes all our checks in the secondary. So this is pretty talented Villanova defense coming back. The Villanova Wildcats now go from being the hunter to the hunted entering the 2013 season. Tim, they appear to have all the talent and experience on both sides of the ball to repeat as conference champions and make an even deeper run this year in the postseason. And, of course, many of us can't wait to see what John Robertson has in store for us in his sophomore season. I think you just said it perfectly. You know, this team was lying in the weeds last year. They kind of had an idea, I think, of if they had potential. And then this year, the spotlight's on them. Uh, the limelight is suddenly coaches picked them to finish free season. You look at all the preseason polls. You're, you're hoping that these Wildcats, you know, that Coach Daly can keep them level-headed. Uh, you know, they really go from a complete opposite view of last year to now. And it's really, uh, it's in their court what they want to do. I think offensively, like you said, they have so many starters returning and so many guys who were used to having that sour taste in their mouths from two years ago and the success they had last season. Um, they, obviously, they're going to try to carry it over. The schedule's pretty nice. Um, I think Villanova in general, a lot of expectations, but if any coach uh, can keep the guys uh, sailing straight with the task ahead, I think it's Coach Talley, and uh, another, it should be another exciting year in Villanova. Villanova kicks off its season this Saturday, August the 31st, against Boston College, a matchup that can be seen live at noon on ESPN News. 
with the Wildcats preview now a wrap. This concludes our 11 teams in 11 days series. But we aren't done yet, are we, Tim? No, can't wait. We're still still going. <laughs> we'll be right back here tomorrow for the first episode of This Week in CAA Football, our weekly series where we break down the big matchups, storylines, and more over the course of the 2013 season. For Tim McDonald, I'm Bobby Broyles. Check in with us again tomorrow as we bring you This Week in CAA Football right here on CAA.tv.